Hello friends, welcome back. If you want to know the entire life cycle of a user story in Agile framework, then you are watching the right video. In this short video, you will clearly understand things like all the stages or statuses of a user story, significance of each stage, and people responsible for each stage. Let's get started. Now let us see the members involved in user story lifecycle. They are the product owner, the business analyst, design team, the dev team, and the quality team. The first stage is when a user story is created by a product owner or a business analyst. At this point, the status of the story will be open. The next question is, do we need design for the story? If no, the story will be changed to, to be refined state by the product owner. If S, the story passes through various stages in the design team and joins back at to be refined state. In this video, I am going to explain you both the scenarios. Let us assume that we need design for the story. In this case, the product owner changes the status of the story from open to ready for design team. If the story is in ready for design team state, that means it is ready to pick up by the design team. Now the design team will pick up the story and will change the status of the story to design exploration. In this stage, the design team will explore multiple design options based on the requirement. Once the design is exploration is finished, the story is moved to design critique. This is where they get feedback from all the stakeholders for the explored design options. Later, the story is moved to design definition state. This is where they formally document the best design based on the feedback received. After this, the story is moved to design review state. This is where final review of the design is done. If everything looks good, design is signed off and moved to to be refined state. If not, it is moved back to ready for design team status. In another scenario, let's assume that the story does not need a design. In this case, the product owner changes the status of story from open to to be refined state. If the story is in to be refined state, it means that there is a need to set priority to the story, communicate the story with the dev team and verify if all the required information is available in the story and also add estimates with the help of development team. Once the refinement is done, the story is moved to refined state by a product owner. Later, in the sprint planning, either the product owner or the developer changes the status of the story to to-do state. That means the story is ready to pick up for the development. Later, when the developer starts working on the story, he changes the status from to-do to in-progress state, which means that the development is in progress. Once the development is done, the story is moved to QA backlog by developer. Now the QA member picks up the story from QA backlog and changes the status of to QA in progress, which means that he is started testing. After testing, if the scope and the acceptance criteria is met, he will change the status of the story to ready for sign off. But if he finds any issue, he will send the story back to to do state. Now, if the story is in ready for sign off state, the product owner will do product testing and he will sign off the story if he feels that the scope and the acceptance criteria is met. If not, he will also send it back to to do state 
where the developer will look into the issue. Once the sign off is done, the story will be moved to done state when the developed functionality is deployed to integrated environment where the stakeholders can see the developed functionality. Thank you friends. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.